Welcome, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at this ingenious cloud-managed ECW 526 Wi-Fi 7 tri-band access point. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link in the description. If you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So let's get this open. So we have a quick start guide. You could manage this with the app or the web interface. And here we have the access point. So it's plastic on the top. On the bottom we have this cast metal. It has a circular mounting interface. And here we have a 10 gigabit PoE port and 12 volt power. And then a reset button. On the side we have a Kensington lock. So this is a very hefty access point. And here we have the mounting plate. And this is a newer style plate. I've not seen this before. Okay, so it looks like this is going to mount to a surface and then this is going to slide in. These here are for T-Track. So these can slot into T-Track and you can screw into these or you can connect this directly to your surface. So it looks like this is aligned horizontally and vertically. So to remove this, this does not rotate. You actually have to press down and rotate. It says press and twist. It's a very secure bracket. So let's get this connected up to the Ingenious Cloud. Okay, so I'm logged into the Ingenious Cloud app. So I want to hit add at the bottom here and I'll say register device. The camera will come up and I'll scan the back of the access point. It says register, I'll hit register. It says name the device, I'll just leave the default name. It says assign to network now. I'll choose my network. It says connected up to the network. So here I have some gigabit ethernet, I'll plug that into here. Okay, the light turned on and I'll hit finish setup and I'll hit finish. So I'll wait a couple of minutes and we'll come back and check that out. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes and I initially set the access point up with gigabit ethernet, but I've moved it to a 2.5 gigabit ethernet network and mounted it on the ceiling. So in the app, if I go to access points, we'll see it here on the bottom and I have to blur most of this out, but it's connected up to the network. And since it supports six gigahertz, we have a six gigahertz network available. So let's open up a browser and do a speed test. So this test is hosted on my network. I'll start it. Here you can see we got about 1.3 down and 1.3 up. So this is a 2024 iPad Pro. It supports Wi-Fi 6. Let's try a PC with a Wi-Fi 6 e adapter. Okay, so here I have a PC running Ubuntu. This PC has a Wi-Fi 6 card installed. Let me run the test. So here we got 1776 down and 1609 up. That's a funny coincidence because I'm filming this on July 4th, 2024. So we got some nice speeds out of this, and this is on the 6 gigahertz band. You can also have clients on the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands. So here I'm logged into Ingenious Cloud. I can click on Access Point here, and we have the access points listed out. So this is the bottom one. If we look at channels here, we can see the 2.4, 5, and 6 gigahertz frequencies. Now if you want to have 6 gigahertz Wi-Fi, you need to set up a couple different things. First, we need to go to Settings, Access Point, Radio. And here we need to make sure we have 6 gigahertz enabled. Then we need to go to settings, access point, SSID. And you can see the fourth SSID here is set up with 6 gigahertz. So if I go into the settings for this, I have 6 gigahertz enabled. So you can set up a single SSID with 2.45 and 6 gigahertz. But when you're testing things out, I recommend just setting up 6 gigahertz so you can ensure that you are using 6 gigahertz. So that was the Ingenious Cloud ECW 526 Wi-Fi 7 access point. This access point was super easy to set up in Ingenious Cloud. You scan the code and add it to your network. You do have to wait for a couple minutes for it to configure itself, and then it may update the firmware. But once that's done, it's ready to go so long as you've configured your SSIDs and such in Ingenious Cloud. So once you get one set up, adding more is very easy. Since this supports Wi-Fi 7, it's going to support the latest technologies and all the previous technologies. So this has the six gigahertz band on it. So that's going to alleviate some network congestion and also you can get some very high speeds. So for my speed test, I had this connected to a 2.5 gigabit network. This will support up to 10 gigabit. That can be really nice if you're running lots of bandwidth on all three bands. Of course, this also works with gigabit ethernet. So I've done a number of different videos on the Ingenious Cloud, and I'll put a link below to my playlist so you can check that out. But that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.